imagine if you could fly, or if you could become invisible, if you could climb the walls, or you had x-ray vision and you could see through women uh, through the walls. <laughs> I once wished that I had superpowers, and I almost had them. This is the story of how I almost became Superman. It's when I was in the first grade, Catholic school. Our teacher, Sister Mary Catherine, told us, Okay class, I want you to draw a picture. Draw a picture of what you want to become when you grow up. Okay, this sounds fun. I like to draw. <laughs> but what do I want to be when I grow up? I don't know yet. I looked around the room and I saw Greg sitting next to me. He drew a picture of a cowboy. And I looked to my right and there's Ricky. Now Ricky. I like Ricky. I really liked Ricky. But whatever the teacher said to do, he did something else. <laughs> the teacher says, go to page 12. Ricky goes to page 33. <laughs> the teacher says, okay, let's eat our lunch. Ricky starts to go home. <laughs> the teacher says, draw a picture of what you want to be when you grow up. And I look, and he drew an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can guess what I drew, right? I drew Superman. I drew him flying, and I drew him with the beams coming out of his eyes. And then Sister Mary Catherine said, and now class, close your eyes. I closed my eyes and fold your hands. And I folded my hands. And she said, Now pray and ask God that you become what you drew in the picture. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> I'm going to ask God to make me Superman. God can do anything. He's going to make me Superman when I grow up. And I said, Oh, please, God. Please, make me Superman. Make me able to fly. Give me the super strength so I can beat up the bad guys. Give me the x-ray vision so I can see through women through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Open my eyes. And I looked around the room. And God, please don't look like an elephant. <laughs> and then Sister Mary Catherine said, Now class, Sometimes prayer is not enough. If you really want to do this, if you want to be a doctor or you want to be a teacher, you have to work to be a doctor or a teacher. So on the bus, on the way home that day, I'm thinking, how can I, what can I do to become Superman? Well, maybe if I exercise a lot and I become strong, maybe God will make me super strong. If I run the race, maybe God will make me super fast. X-ray vision, mm, tough one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if I stare at something really, really hard for a long time, I'll be able to see through it. And you know what? It worked. <laughs> I was able to develop X-ray vision, and I'm going to show you how to do this now. Everybody, hold your finger like this. Look at your finger. You see one finger, right? Now, keep your finger there, look at me. You see two fingers, right? <laughs> and you can see through two fingers. <laughs> and I practice this every day. <laughs> I can see through my finger, I can see through my pencil, my ruler, my transistor radio. I could see through my book, and eventually, I could see through Ricky's head. <laughs> Before it became an elephant. <laughs> and I worked at this very hard, and I got very excited, and I told my mom, Mom, I have x-ray vision! And my mom said, no you don't. <laughs> yes I do, no you don't. And for a couple of days, we're arguing, I'm trying to convince my mom, I have x-ray vision. Like, you know, see, you have brown hair, two eyes, <laughs> eventually she began to listen to me and she said, if you really have x-ray vision, how does it work? And I said, well, if I hold my finger out like this, I can see two fingers. And basically I just told my mom that I have double vision. <laughs> two hours later, the eye doctors finished examining me. 
<laughs> and the eye doctor tells my mom, well, the good news is he doesn't have double vision. However, he has developed this ability really strongly. So you and I, we see two fingers like this far apart. Kevin sees them like this far, this far apart. Because he practiced so much. And my mother told me, Kevin, do not develop this ability any further. <laughs> and while we're at it, don't try jumping out the window trying to fly. Something like that. Members and guests, this is the reason why I did not become Superman. <laughs> My mommy wouldn't let me. Thank you for your speech, uh, speaker number 10. I'll give a minute to the judges.